Hi guys, I'm Laura Coyle, and I'm looking at the new feature in Adobe Illustrator 2022, the new 3D feature, and trying to see how it works with recolor artwork and pattern editing mode, some of my favorite features. And uh, so I'm making a copy of this 3D object. And by the way, if I just look at this in outline mode, we can see these are just plain circles with a revolve 3D effect applied. And I will go into more detail about that in a minute, but let's just take a look at what recolor artwork can do here. I'm gonna select this and then go up to the recolor artwork button and here we are in the new recolor artwork panel. Looks like I'm kind of running out of screen space there. All right, and move this into place. Okay, so recolor artwork uh, works with these 3D objects. So I can just spin these uh, color circles around here. They're currently locked in the current harmony because I have this lock um, turned on, but it works really well and the color can change. Um, if I go up here to the color library, let's see, color group, um, I can change it to this color group here. So it's really interesting to me that, um, that recolor artwork works really well with uh, the new 3D feature. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the panel. Um, and that's one example I wanted to show you. Let me move this over. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and delete one of these because this file is just gonna get big and slow. So I'm trying to, so far so good, but I don't wanna tempt uh, too much here. All right, so now let's talk about doing um, a pattern in pattern editing mode. So what I have here again are just three circles. And this time what I'm gonna do is apply uh, inflate. So that makes this kind of nice little button shape here. You can see if I rotate it, there it is. Um, so these 3D effects are similar to the old 3D effects in the way that they work. But of course, there's a lot more going on now, a lot more bells and whistles. Um, so when you apply these to objects here, you can go through the 3D and materials panel, which I have open here. And if you wanna open that, you can go to the window menu and it's right here, 3D and materials. Um, these are live effects. So you can also go to the effects menu as always and right down here to 3D and materials. So you can apply these effects using these commands right here. They're all the same things that are on the panel. And then at the very bottom, we have 3D classics. So that's great that we can still use the original feature here. So that's another way to get to these effects. And then finally, we can look at these in the appearance panel. So if I go down to effects, there's 3D classic and 3D and materials. So several ways to approach this, but let me go ahead here and do this circle here, just clicking on inflate so that we can see that this appears inside the appearance panel and uh, you can turn it off and on, you know, just like any other live effect, just like the old 3D effect. Um, all right, so I'll go ahead and apply it to this too. Um, now, these two are facing straight on. This one is a little crooked because I've been sitting here working on it with the, the free rotation, which is this center um, little widget there. Um, you can also rotate it on the X and on the Y and on the Z like that. So you can do all of that right there using that um, widget. But then you also have at the bottom of the screen here, and let's see, I might be blocking this with my little talking head here. You can choose from presets, just like the original feature. So if I want this to go right back to being front facing, I can just choose front, or I can just type in values here that I want. So even those isometric presets are still there. So that's really cool. All right, so now that I have these objects, and by the way, there's so much more you can do here. We can go into materials and apply all of these materials that are included from Substance, and I've even loaded a few more here. But right now we're just using the base material because it's this kind of, right now it looks kind of powdery, but it's actually pretty glossy once you render it. All right, so we've got our objects, not gonna mess with materials or lighting right now, um, but let's go ahead and try and make a pattern out of these. All right, so let me move this 
panel back a little bit because I know we're going to want to see. Why is that not? There we go. All right. Um, we're going to need our, our screen for the next part. All right. So we've got our three circles. Then we're going to go to object pattern make. All right. And there we are. Okay. So the normal warning, um, just telling us that Illustrator has created a pattern fill swatch and we can see it right there in the swatches panel. I'm going to close this and then any changes we make will affect that pattern fill swatch. All right. So I'm going to choose a brick by column just to sort of vary this up a little bit. And um, this looks really cool, but just notice that what we have here, you know, I'm not seeing that widget. I can't rotate these right now. If I go over into the 3D and materials panel, let's see, there's the widget pops up, but um, it doesn't seem to look, I got one rotation handle, but it's, it's not letting me, it's not letting me do it. Um, and that's not terribly surprising because that's kind of how any live effect can work in Illustrator when you bring it in like this. Um, so the 3D objects themselves um, are not editable using the 3D options here in this panel, but you can scale them and, you know, of course, move them around and rotate them and that sort of thing in the normal way. Um, but if we go over here and I'll grab this ellipse tool and hold down the shift key, make another circle here. And let me give this a different color so it's really easy for us to see. Okay, now this, getting my selection tool, um, I'm going to apply a 3D effect to, same effect, and there it is. And I can rotate this. Um, I can go ahead and put this back to front facing. Um, and I can make other 3D adjustments here. Um, if I go into materials, if I wanted to add a different material for this, let's see, put this one on there um, and look at that little kind of embroidered looking material there. So you can make these changes here inside of pattern editing mode, which is really cool. I'm going back to the default material there, um, but just like any other live effect in pattern editing mode, it's going to get expanded on the way out. And when it comes to um, these 3D effects, expanding really turns these into images. So these will all wind up as images. So in fact, these probably already are in some way. Okay, so let's uh, exit and save. I'm gonna go up to the upper left corner, click on the arrow here, and it's giving me the warning that it is going to expand everything. So I know that that's okay. And now I'll back out move this over, get a rectangle, find that fill swatch and apply it. And there it is. So this is a pattern fill swatch uh, with 3D objects in it. However, you know, like I said, they're expanded. So let's go ahead, I'm moving this aside, going to the pattern, uh, I mean, sorry, to the, to the swatches panel, and I'm just gonna drag a pattern fill swatch out to my artboard so we can see, you know, what's inside. So as always, we have that bounding shape, no fill, no stroke, that's the sort of um, defining the size of the tile and the repeat. Um, and then inside, let's go ahead and ungroup these and just grab one. These two are sort of grouped together, it looks like. So I'm ungrouping them, Command or Control, Shift G. Um, and if I look at this, I can see up in the upper left corner that it is an image, um, transparent RGB. So you can see, you know, it somewhere it's gonna overlap something here. There it is, yeah. Um, so it's perfectly transparent around there. Um, it is 350 PPI and Let's look at it in the links panel. So here we have all of those images um, that are part of this expanded artwork here. So um, that's kind of how it works and it's pretty fun. I'm looking forward to playing with this more. Let's just take a look at a couple of other things here. All right, so uh, looks like I am in, uh, that was isolation mode, all right. Uh, so what I did here was I've been working uh, with these three objects 
and um, we can see everything that's going on with them here in the uh, 3D panel. Uh, and right now, these are in um, just a regular preview mode. Uh, I think it's called real-time drawing, so they're not ray tracing yet. Let's go ahead and turn on ray tracing. You can see this is the part that takes a little time, and I I'm on an M1 Pro here, and uh, there's a lot of 3D objects in this file, and I just applied ray tracing to everything in the file, so that took a little bit. So the ray tracing, as you can see, adds that gloss and that final finish to it. Um, if I take this object um, right here and go up to Object and Expand Appearance, see what happens. Okay, so it turns into a group. If I look in the upper left-hand corner, I can see what this object I have selected is. Um, I'll go ahead and ungroup it, and then again, we see that it is an image. So, um, you know, just like I showed you, expanding, which previously happened, because we were going from pattern editing mode back out to the artboard, and then I was showing you the artwork inside of the pattern fill swatch. This time, I just literally took the 3D art, went up to the object menu, and expanded the appearance. And I get this image, and because we are doing this ray tracing or turning ray tracing on, we're getting this nice, glossy, finished appearance. Um, I can switch to re real time preview by clicking on this button in the upper right hand corner. And then you'll see everything in this file go back to that preview. So why this is important is because if you um, are making changes and edits and things like that, you're probably gonna wanna work in this real time preview mode. Um, but if you want your pattern to have this you know, glossy look to it, um, then you'll have to turn on ray tracing and whether or not that's compatible with, you know, your system, you know, just the amount of, of processing power that it takes, then taking that and bring it into pattern editing mode, I'm not sure how well that's going to work, but you always have the option, you know, of expanding these, they become images and you can make, um, your patterns out of images. So that's pretty cool. Now, one last thing I could go on and on because this is really fun. But one last thing I want to show you, this circle right here is active. Um, and let's just apply a fun material to it. So this is, um, we're not ray tracing. This is just the preview version of it. Um, the other pattern feature inside of uh, Illustrator is over here, object. So we just did object pattern make. And if we go right here, we've got repeat. All right, so if we do, let's see, grid repeat, yes. So these 3D live objects work inside of the repeats in Illustrator. So this is your other pattern feature that you might wanna work with. And there it is, all of the options for that, and I've talked about this a lot before, are in the properties panel. We see them right here. I'm not gonna really go into that. Um, but, you know, it looks like we can't edit these, but we actually can. Um, you edit inside of a repeat object by double clicking and that puts you into uh, this isolation mode. You can see the little bar across the top and it says we're inside that object there and then we can rotate and we can you know, change the material like so. Um, and then once we exit um, and I'll just hit escape to get all the way out there. We still have the ability to use the repeat. I'm just so tickled by this. Can't you tell? It's just so cool. Um, there we go. So these are 3D objects. Um, these are live 3D objects as um, inside of a repeat. Um, if we try it with an image, now remember this is the expanded um, earlier thing, we can see right there it's an image. If I go to object, repeat, those are all grayed out. So it's not going to work with this image for some reason, uh, but a workaround for that, I think, let me try this. Let's make a symbol out of it. Okay, so when it's a symbol, will it work? Yes. Okay, so I've kind of gone 
you know, through a lot of different things, but hopefully this will give you just a few tips that might be helpful if you're exploring using 3D, the new 2022 3D feature in Adobe Illustrator, and then putting that in with your patterns and recolor artwork. So um, I hope that's been fun for you. It's been fun for me. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Illustrator videos. My name is Laura Coyle, and thank you for watching.